Myths and Facts in Auto-Inflammatory Diseases Auto-inflammatory diseases are a group of rare conditions that are usually genetically inherited and can impact patients of all ages, from newborns to older adults. Common symptoms are recurrent fevers, abdominal pain, joint pain, rashes, gastrointestinal problems, eye issues, mouth ulcers, headaches, swollen lymph nodes, fatigue, etc. Typically, symptoms keep reoccurring every few days, weeks, or months. These are the most common auto-inflammatory diseases. Abbreviations are used due to the long medical names assigned to them. Many of these conditions are inherited and caused by genetic errors in the innate immune system, which then trigger uncontrolled inflammation throughout the body. This process can be compared to a leaking faucet that will not stop dripping. All patients require treatment for these diseases, and since they are not well known by the medical establishment, there are many inaccuracies regarding their origins, diagnosis, and treatments. The myths regarding these rare inflammatory diseases require facts, not fiction. Myth, auto-inflammatory diseases can be cured with treatment. Fact, it is not possible to cure a genetic disease. Medication can only alleviate the symptoms. Myth, diet will cure auto-inflammatory symptoms. Fact, chronic inflammation often results in weight gain, which cannot be controlled with a diet. Myth, physical activity will help with symptom control and reduce joint pain. Fact, often physical activity will trigger a flare and worsen the pain. Myth, getting eight to 10 hours of sleep will reduce the disease symptoms. Fact, the amount of sleep has no impact on symptom improvement. Myth. Disease severity will improve over time. Fact. In most cases, the symptoms may intensify or change as the patient ages. Myth. Colchicine is toxic and the lower the dose, the better. Fact. Colchicine at the recommended doses for babies, children, and adults saves lives. Myth. Colchicine cannot be taken during pregnancy and nursing. Fact. Colchicine is safe during pregnancy and nursing and can eliminate unnecessary disease flares. Myth. IL-1 biologics are all the same and if one does not work, the others will not either. Fact. Each IL-1 biologic works differently. It is recommended, if one does not work, to trial another. Myth. If treatment with IL-1 or other biologic is effective, the patient will have a full and robust symptom resolution. Fact. Despite treatment, a majority of patients continue to have unresolved symptoms of pain, fatigue, and breakthrough flares. Myth. Treated patients will have elevated inflammatory markers during flares. Fact. IL-1 treatment normalizes inflammatory markers despite patient having a breakthrough flare. Myth. Patients on IL-1 biologics should have a medication break every now and then. Fact, discontinuing treatment for any period of time, especially in a patient with active disease, will likely trigger a major flare and worsen the patient's condition. Promptly treating auto-inflammatory patients once diagnosed is critical to their well-being and to control their disease inflammation. There are many myths surrounding these rare diseases, and it is important for patients to advocate for timely care and medical assistance. Patients do not have to navigate through these diseases alone. If you suspect you or your child may have an auto-inflammatory disease, seek medical help or contact the FMF and AID helpline for support and assistance in finding a specialist. For more information, visit our website, www.fmfandaid.org.